So uh, we're here in Almont, Ontario, and I'm here with no other than Sheldon from Shifter Sports. Hey everyone. So we're visiting Almont, Ontario. This is the birthplace of Dr. James Naismith, the inventor of basketball. Uh, so we're just hanging out in Dr. Naismith's uh, hometown. Um, at some point we're going to go and uh, pass by his childhood home and then we're going to visit the Naismith Basketball Museum. Check what they have in downtown Almont. Check it out. It's a statue of Dr. James Naismith, inventor of basketball in downtown Almont. Look at that, there's a little peach, there's a little peach basket and volleyball. See, they also have a basketball net up there. They turn, they turn one of their, uh, they turn one of their, their street lights there. They turn one of their street lights into a basketball net. So that's it for our trip to downtown Almont uh, to see the James Naismith statue. Um, so next up, his house. Hey everyone, Sheldon Kevin from Shifter here, here to check out the birthplace of Dr. James Naismith. Yeah, we're here on the road in Almont, Ontario. I'm um, here to just check out the sights and sounds of the birthplace of basketball on the heels of the NBA Finals. Keep it locked, um, keep the video going. We're gonna check out some more things. Right? <laughs> So we're about to make our final stop at the um, James Naismith Museum. Uh, we're about to make a right right here. Going to the Mill of Kintail. Outside of Almont, Ontario, James Naismith Museum. Road trip. All right, heading down to the museum. Just gotta walk through some wooded path. <laughs> Almost there. I think we're walking the wrong way. We're walking the wrong way, okay. Gotta go this okay, way. Go this way. <laughs> If we're lucky, we'll get a ball so we can check out the hoop. If we're lucky. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Is this the, is this the, J, the J Stasis Museum? It is. It's in the lower level. Down this level. It's only been here for, I don't know, five, six years, maybe seven. We're here in. It's not a recognized basketball mecca, but it should be. <laughs> James exactly. Daisy Museum. This is, apparently this is this rock is from some other sport that he invented. Some other kind of sport. Duck a rock. So, <laughs> apparently he invented another sport called duck a rock. So that's that that's what that is. Duck a rock. Duck a rock. Sounds Jamaican. <laughs> See look at this. Woman. Woman playing basketball in their little dresses. Look at that. Look at that. Basketball is a woman's sport. That's what, 1895. Years before the WNBA, women were balling. So here we have some basketballs signed by the Harlem Globetrotters. Right there. Official ball from the Basketball Hall of Fame, right there. San Antonio Spurs ball. 2005 NBA Finals is the first the original 13 rules original 13 rules of basketball written by James Naismith right here it says th the 13 original rules of basketball that James Naismith's secretary typed up with nope. pencil pencil editions by by Naismith no hand check no 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 hand checking <laughs> <laughs> so we're here at the James Naismith Museum outside of Almont Ontario about to get a little run in um, they have some that's some balls there at the front desk for us to rent so we're gonna do a little one-on-one -on -one or some some horse here. Some. 
something, something, some competition. Yeah. So that was it for our trip to the Naismith, uh, James Naismith Basketball Museum. Yep. Uh, the highlights for me personally was defeating, demolishing Sheldon 21 to four at, at horse, or not horse, 21. I'd have had an injury like LeBron. Nah, nah, no, no excuses, no excuses here. <laughs> Let's play through the injuries, man. <laughs> well, what were the highlights for you? Um, honestly, you know, just getting on the court, playing some ball at, uh, at a fame museum, learning more about Dr. James Naismith as a Canadian, developing the game we come to know and love. Honestly, that's what I got from it. Amazing. Cool. So Stephanie inside just told us about a, um, a court that the NBA uh, created for the neighborhood. Um, apparently it looks fantastic. We're going to check it out right now and see what it's all about. So we're here in Almont, Ontario. We're still, well, still in Almont, Ontario. Uh, and we're visiting the NBA Cares court um, that was built out here. So yeah, it's it's a pretty cool court. It's it's a uh, you know double rim. I don't not, not a big fan of double rims. No, no. but um, yeah, it's pretty cool. And the people are actually nice. We had a, a, a family there just come in speak to us. So pre people are pretty nice out here in Almont. It's kind of cool that the NBA would come out here and, and build a, a full regulation court with with all the lines and the NBA logo. It's pretty official. And um, it just it just shows how much the NBA cares about local communities. All right, so uh, Almont, Ontario. So far, it's been an amazing trip. Um, met a lot of amazing people. Um, the folks at Almont are so prideful about their town. Met uh, from the oldest to the youngest. They had many good things to say about uh, their town, especially James Naismith. It seems like they all knew about him and all knew uh, his the history about him living there. And, you know, we felt comfortable and welcomed as two black men filming with a camera. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't look very, it looks, it looks kind of suspect, two black guys in a rural place uh, walking around with a camera, but people weren't like, people treated us well. People were like, yeah, yeah what, what are you doing? People were genuinely intrigued by what we were doing. They were suggesting more play. Everywhere we went, people were like, oh, you should check out here. You should yeah. check out there. So people kept telling us more places to check out. Uh, amazing small town. Uh, you know, it's just been an amazing time so far, and uh, there's still more to come.